Fanta. So, it's gross. I don't want that Fanta. <laughs> if you like, if you like plastics, <laughs> watch this video with us. <laughs> hey, this is BTG. Watch us. This is BTG. Watch us. Watch um, us. And we'll hit play, please. Be. Watch what this. What we're trying to do is to use microbes to take plastic and other inedible plant material and turn that into something that's nutritious. Oh, is that what you're trying hey, to Bob, do? Hey, Bob, I got an idea. Huh? Let's Bob? let's find out the dumbest thing we can do and like see if people do it. Yeah, let's eat some plastic. Yeah, let's eat plastic, Bob. It's a great idea. <laughs> the idea is to turn components <laughs> turn of plastic into protein and other nutrients you like idiot. fats and sugars. If that sounds kind of gross to you, well... It I don't is. want to eat plastic. <laughs> you that know sounds what? gross to you. It is. It does sound gross <laughs> to me, Janine. Bob and Janine, sounds gross. Sounds unhealthy. Oh, let's eat it. <laughs> Either. What we're trying to do Here, put is this in your mouth and chew on it. and turn it into something completely different. By the way, it won't Steve break Tegman down while you're eating it. Right, right. Let's hear what Steve and an associate professor let's, at Michigan let's Technological Steve University say. and his colleagues were just honored with a more than $1 million Future Insight Prize hmm. from a German company that will allow them to delve deeper oh my God. into their research. Someone gave Tegman them money. Says their process works by using microbes Hey, man, we got this garbage. Give us a million dollars. Okay. And in the end, all we're left with are microbial cells. And those cells are made up of we just scoop this up out of the food, ocean dog. proteins <laughs> lipids sugars and, and vitamins techman yeah. says the resulting cells once hey you guys go subscribe powder resembling subscribe to btg squad and he says the full <laughs> conversion takes just about a day which i think is pretty exciting because plastics in the environment can take years to break down and so the fact that pause pause now you're going to put it in your body. Yeah, they take years to break down in the environment. Okay, let's eat them. <laughs> like, let's grind them up, turn them into microorganisms, and shove them in your body at a high rate of speed. Because you, it's this one thing you know Americans can't do. People in general, we can't help but eat, man. We got to eat the all look the time. on his face. He knows what he's doing. Wrong. I want to punch you right now, Steve. I, he's looking down, reading the notes that they gave him, just hoping he gets rich off of this. So he, he can did. Just bail out. This is a, they gave him a million bucks. Hey, Steve. This is the beginning. I want to put my foot on your face. I want a boot print right where his face is. It looks perfectly shaped, too. We can break plastics down in a day. Is, is, is Those look like it's already been cool, broken. To be It'll honest. mostly be a few his years at least before turning plastic into protein or Eat other that. She should shove that right in her mouth and, and eat it. Does, I got somewhere else she could shove that. that the Shame on you for reporting on this. Something more like emergency food rations than something you would find on the grocery store shelves. Shut up! This is what also makes you makes it they make them stupid. They've been eating too much plastic already. <sighs> Yeah, man. You and I, we did a video, Dr. Shauna Swan, talking about microplastics. Um, yeah, microplastics and your taint shrinking. Gentlemen, I'd like to reintroduce you to that video Errol and I did a long time ago. Go and measure your taints. If your taint is, I think it's two or two and a half inches and above, you're good. You're good to go. You got some TT you, syndrome. You have some. Tiny you, taint. Yeah, you got some <laughs> something. <laughs> if you are below two inches, I believe, you got tiny taint syndrome. <laughs> T you got TT. You got TTT. Tiny tank tent ugh, TTS, TTS, my yeah. bad. Tiny tank syndrome. And you, my friend, are what is known as a cuck. Okay? <laughs> You're a ballless person and you've been eating too many plastics. So you, that individual that has a tank that is less than two inches, you deserve, my friend. You deserve to go on the streets and protest against this injustice that they are doing to you at Fox Five right now. Didn't you send me a thing too about how like by this year, like, we won't be able to, like, have kids by a certain oh, year. God dang, man. Yeah, there's projections. When people type into Google, like, like uh, reproductive count, sperm count or whatever, and, man, by the year, like, I think it was, like, 2047, if you, like, a this AI technology is predicting, and not even AI technology, like, actual scientists, Dr. Shauna Swan being one of them, um, these scientists are predicting by the year twenty like forty seven or whatever. If we don't change, yeah, if we don't change what we're doing and the amount of plastics that we're introducing into our bodies, we're not going to be able to reproduce because our taints are going to shrink. Our buttholes are going to be right next to our balls, just like <laughs> just like women, bro. <laughs> we're gonna be. You're gonna shrivel up and become a woman. Then gonna, what? Are you freezing sperm, bro? You think we should freeze sperm? <laughs> That's what you'll be doing. Scissoring. You'll be scissoring with your girl. How's that make you feel? <laughs> I hope. This is BTG Squad. Do not think this represents us as a company. <laughs> <laughs>
We love our job. Mm-hmm. You need to go subscribe to BTG Squad, become a part of this conversation. What do you think? Would you eat plastics? Turning pr- plastic into protein has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Yet, they report on it in the news. So yet, somebody will pay them to fucking do it. Somebody gave them a million dollar grant for it. Don't worry. Soon enough, it's coming. It's coming down the pipeline. <laughs> okay? Your taint shrinking. We need to start busting nuts and putting them in jars and freezing them. Do they pay you to put your sperm in in sperm banks? You know, unvaccinated sperm is really expensive these days. <laughs> is that a real thing or is that fake? Did somebody make that up? Unvaxed I sperm is it really I expensive. I don't it's like, know, dude. It's like the elixir, baby. I don't know. Yeah, I'm in there, ski. But think, the sperm banks already had stuff before the vaccine ever came. Yeah, huh? that's old stuff, son. I'm, I'm mad, past. They can freeze it and hold it. I'm Just on. like the eggs, dude. Don't, do sperm go bad? <laughs> do they have an expiration date? I don't know. They must be able to bring them back to life or <laughs> can, something. Can you freeze? Isn't like, that they weird? hibernate. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I can, I can have some dude from like 2006. We can put him in an egg today in 2022 and he makes it. Like yeah. no other no other sperm from 2006 is making it all the way up to 2023 to to impregnate somebody. That's insane. Do that we, person was never supposed to exist. Yeah, right. You're messing with messing with light. Yeah, this is his it's like a time machine, dude. You're bringing someone from the past and putting them in the future. Sure. So we can travel to the future. We can travel. We should talk to those babies that are that hey, are baby. produced. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right. We got to get out of here, right. though. This has been BTG Squad. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, my audio what just happened? went out. It's still recording. Don't worry. I don't know what happens to my audio. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.